So I've seen a lot of uh, abuse out there with regular expressions and people using regular expressions when they shouldn't. And oh, for those of you who don't know what regular expressions are, um, basically in the world of mathematics, or in this case, uh, computer science or just computers, whatever you, what term you want to use, uh, regular expressions are the way that you actually filter and uh, most of the time filter and parse out either strings of text, data, things of the sort, any, anything that can be represented with text. Um, you can use regular expressions to either filter, um, replace things, um, and a lot of, just a lot of useful uh, uses for it. And actually I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you just an easy example of a regular expression before I continue with this whole uh, spiel. But um, if you've ever used the sed command, you'd be, you're probably familiar with regular expressions because sed, uses regular expressions. Um, a, a typical sed command um, looks kind of like this. So basically what it does, it's gonna, is it, it's gonna replace, um, actually wait, here we go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and print uh, I'm going to go ahead and print this, the terminal. The sentence is, this is a word. And actually, I'm going to get rid of this. Um, it's just going to print, this is a word, as you would expect. But if I run that through said, what you can do with said is you can actually um, pipe that string of text into said, and said will analyze it and replace to give it the word that you give it with another word. Um, or words, or any sort of string, or input. So, oh. so in this case, when I run it through set, it'll actually replace the word word with sentence, uh, which is pretty cool. And of course, if I have, let's just say, I have two instances of the word word, it'll replace both of them. Or if I just want to replace one, I could use a regular expression or special regular expression symbols um, to just filter out one. And so regular expressions are very versat versatile ways to filter out text and parse out text and do all these very useful, but also pretty cool things. So I'm gonna go back to what I was initially complaining about. Um, and it's a valid complaint. Um, so regular expressions, or as a lot of people call them, regex, regexes, or um, however you want to pronounce it, I pronounce them re, 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 regexes. Um, regexes, how you want to pronounce it. But um, what a lot of people um, will, uh, do is, if you want to de de detect a valid URL, like a, a, a URL for a website, for example, this one right here, is a URL. Um, what a lot of people do is they actually go to a using a regular expression like this to actually detect whether a URL is valid or not, or one like this. Um, and but this has a this has a problem though. The problem is it doesn't work for every single URL. In fact, if I scroll down here, you'll see that this person actually gives a longer URL or regular expression to detect URLs. And this one's actually I would say at least twice as long. Um, and they even explicitly state that it does detect these ones, but it will not detect these valid URLs. So it makes you wonder, is there a, is there a foolproof, almost foolproof way to detect URLs without having this long and complicated, almost unreadable regular expression? And to that, I would say, yes, there is. Um, and to show you, I'll actually go ahead and open my terminal and do that right now. So. I'll use my website, for example. Um, for my website, let's just say I want to detect whether uh, my website is a valid URL or not without using a regular expression. Well, what I can do is this. I can just connect to it and see whether it's a valid URL or not. 
or I don't I don't even have to use the ping command either. I could use I could use the curl command as well. And as you can see, I get a web page in response. And so <laughs> that, may, that may not be what uh, um, most of you are thinking, but I think it's probably the best way to actually validate a URL is to actually just connect to it and see if you get response or anything. And from there, determine whether it's valid or not. In this case, my website is a valid URL. And I think people should probably adopt this more instead of uh, using horribly complicated and convoluted regular expressions. Not just for URLs too, but for email addresses. Um, because there are some actually um, pretty interesting email addresses that do not work with most regular expressions that match email addresses. Um, and to that, I would probably just say, send the person, send the address an email to verify it. That's what most companies, most, um, basically what everyone does nowadays, which is, which I think is common sense, but also things like, um, I would say email addresses, URLs, um, phone numbers, I would say actually would qualify as a good use for a regular expression. Uh, most of the time, sometimes not, but another, th another thing that I think you shouldn't use a regular expression for are credit card numbers to validate credit card numbers. Um, uh, because you can either just, because you can actually use a algorithm. I, I think it's called the one algorithm. Um, I think, oh, I'm pretty sure. think yeah the one uh, the one algorithm and this algorithm basically lets you validate with our credit card number or uh, numbers for a few other things like um, uh, certain ID numbers for certain countries are valid or not and so that's actually a pretty useful thing and it's more accurate than using a regular expression in my opinion um, so uh, my advice um, my advice is to just use the most practical, um, most practical tools at your disposal instead of using a regular expression for every single thing you do. Because I see it way too often, people just using regular expressions for things they shouldn't use it for. Um, and so I think that's, uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. Don't do stupid things. See you later.